Good evening, BookTube, YouTube. This is Johnny once again. This is still a Sunday. It is April the 14th. It is 5.39 in the evening here in Southwest Michigan. It is a Sunday and I, I mentioned um, this morning I did a video showing you my commentaries on the Gospel of John. Not all of them, but the ones I used in Bible college and seminary and the ones I, I collect uh, I collect books as you all know from watching my videos <laughs> and uh, and I am a student of the Bible because I'm a Christian and I'm a bookworm if you're a bookworm then and you're a Christian you not only read secular literature but you read Christian literature and that's why I started this channel years ago is to just talk about the Christian books that I have read or I collect and uh, but I like all kinds of literature besides Christian literature I like I, I meant to I, I am I think when I look at my library things site where I catalog my books the last I don't know how long I've been cataloging books maybe since 2007, 2008. Uh, I like I like fiction, and I collect certain writers. As I showed you, I showed you my Edmund White collection. I showed you my. Uh, I think over the years I've shown you my William Volman collection, uh, Saul Billow's collection, Philip Roth. Uh, I like. Uh, I'm more into 20th century American literature. I like Mark Twain. I have the collected works of Mark Twain. I like Nathaniel Hawthorne, Ralph Waldo Emerson, Walt Whitman, uh, Emily Dickinson. Uh, when it comes to American writers, I like uh, John Cheever, Joyce Carol Oates, and B Beatty, uh, uh, who else? Just Jim Harrison, Gord Vidal, Norman Mailer. Uh, Jack Kerouac, Allen Ginsberg. When it comes to poetry, I like I like the I like those kinds of writers, uh, and. Also, I collect novels that look interesting to me. I'm not, I've not maybe read them, but I collect certain writers that I plan to get around to reading. And one of the writers, and so what this video is, is I, a couple of years, not a couple of years ago, a couple of weeks ago, my wife and I, we went to Finville, which is south of us, about 20 minutes. And there's the Finville warehouse used bookstore which I have a video I've made of it in my YouTube channel and then across the street is the Finville Public Library and they have a used book room where they show books that have been donated or withdrawn from their library and we always go there so this is what this video is I'm showing you the books I get at Finville warehouse used bookstore and Finville Public Library used book room a couple weeks ago and this is where, and I'm not going to show you, when I, some I had doubles of. When I came home and I was cataloging in my library thing, I already had them in my library. And those I put in the, my car in a box to donate either to Goodwill or take them to Blue Stockings Bookstore for in-store credit. But these are the ones I didn't have in my library that I plan to keep. One writer I have been interested in for a number of years, but have not read, is Kate Atkinson. And this is, I collect her writings, even though I have not read her. Uh, her this is Emotionally Weird by Kate Atkinson. She is a British writer. Uh, I have her novel, Behind the Scenes of the Museum. Uh, case Histories I have. Uh, 
So when I see her novels, I just collect them and someday I hope to get around to reading her. Uh, she gets a lot of good reviews. She's mentioned on BookTube, but I've not read her. And then I collect the writings of Philip Kerr. He wrote a series of novels on a that take place in Berlin, right at the time of the Nazis, a uh, detective series. And I have those in my library, but he, uh, they're called uh, the Bernie Gurner books, which I, I have. And then he writes individual novels and I collect those. I have a lot of them, but I didn't have this one, Prayer, a novel. Uh, it says here, Gil Martins, it says inside the cover, Gil Martins, an agent with the FBI's domestic terrorism unit in Houston, confronts the violent violence generated by extremists within our nation's borders every day. He sees hatred and destruction wrought by every kind of ism there is in the zealots who kill in the name of their beliefs. Until now, he has always been a part of the solution, however imperfect a part of justice. But when Gill discovers he played a, very, a key role in wrongly condemning an innocent man to death row, it shakes his faith in the system, in himself, and in God deeply. It even estranges him from his wife and son. So yeah, I collect his writings. I've read one of his Bernie Gurner's series, I think last year, but I collect them. Then I collect biographies. When you look at library thing, I have, the most that I have is fiction. I have like 3,000 fiction. Then I have biographies. And I found this biography by Michael Corda. I had his biography in Ike, but I got, I dehauled all my Eisenhower books a couple of years ago, all my Richard Nixon, Truman, Watergate, I got rid of all those, John F. Kennedy, but I kept, uh, you know, Lincoln and Thomas Jefferson and George Washington and Ulysses Grant and FDR and Teddy Roosevelt. And I do have books on presidential biographies on Thomas Jefferson and Andrew Jackson and I have other political history books on political political history in America. But anyway, this is a biography by Michael Corda, uh, Hero, the Life and Legend of uh, Lawrence of Arabia. Uh, I collect Michael Corda's books. He uh, He's written other books, which I have in my library. Charmed Lives is what I have, and I have other books by him, but this is one on this, The Life and Legend of Lawrence of Arabia, Hero. This per, I got these at the Finville Library, these books, and I, I never read this writer, but it, this was his not, and these only go for 50 cents, so if you don't like them, I can take them to Goodwill and donate them, but this is, a Thousand Pardons, a novel by Jonathan D, author of the Pro Pulitzer Prize, author of the Pulitzer Prize finalist, The Plivages. Uh, it's recommended here by the New York Times Book Review, The Washington Post, The New Yorker. Richard Ford recommended this, a little blurb. He's one of my favorite American writers, Richard Ford. Uh, he wrote, uh, you know, Independence Day, The Sports Writer, other novels. I have them downstairs, his writings. So I just picked it up, see, A Thousand Pardons. And then I also picked up his novel, Jonathan D. Uh, the Locals, on the front cover is a blurb by John, not John, George Sanders, quote, a bold, vital, view-expanding novel summons up a small American town 
at precisely the right moment in our history. On the back cover of this, it's recommended by Joy, Joy Williams, one of my favorite writers that I collect. Uh, Rachel Kirshner, who I collect, recommended it. She wrote the novel The Flamethrowers, which I have, which I have not read. Uh, Nathan Hill, Hill, who wrote that novel a couple years ago, that was on the book too, The Knicks. Uh, so anyway, I thought I'd just pick them up, check them out someday. Two novels by Jonathan D. And then I collect the writings of Joyce Carol Oates, and they had eight, but out of the eight that I got from the Finville Public Library used book room, only two I didn't have. And I have over at least maybe 40, 40 volumes of the writings of Joyce Carol Oates. She wrote a lot of short story collections. She has written under pseudonyms. She's written books, essays, literary criticism. She's written memoirs. She's written a lot of novels. And these, these are, these are, I think these are story collections. She's written a lot of stories. Let me see. This is, let me see. Yeah, these are both story collections. This is Sourland Stories by Joyce Carol Oates. I, I got into reading short stories when I got into BookTube. When I got into reading, when I left the work world about in 2007, I started sh reading short stories by D.C. Boyle, uh, Saul Billows, I like his short stories, Alice Monroe, who I really like, and uh, John Updike's short stories I like. And so I've got into reading the short stories of Joyce Carol Oates, and this is one I didn't have in my collection by her, Sourland. And then this is another story collection by Joyce Carol Oates, Black Delilah in White Rose by Joyce Carol Oates. I didn't have these in my Joyce Carol Oates. I think a number of years ago I, I did a video on my collection of Joyce Kara Oates, but I didn't have this story collection by her in my library. And then I picked up a book. I had this biography in paperback, which I gave away, and I found this hardback at the Finville Warehouse used bookstore. Theodore Roosevelt, A Strenuous, a Strenu Strenuous Life by Catherine Dalton. This is for my Theodore Roosevelt collection. Well, I, I, I like reading American history, 19th century, 20th century history through biographies. And the time that Theodore Roosevelt lived was to me a very interesting time period in American history. And that's why I collect him. And also FDR, Theodore Roosevelt, lived during a very interesting time in American history and also Ulysses Grant and Lincoln and John Adams and Quincy Adams and Thomas Jefferson and so I'd I like to read American Andrew Jackson I like reading American history through biographies not only presidential biographies but like the biographies of Mark Twain the biographies of Emerson, Thoreau, Emerson, biographies on Emily Dickinson, biographies on uh, William James, the great Amer American pragmatic philosopher, religious figures like Jonathan Edwards, his biography, the great, uh, the great preacher, 17th century American preacher, theologian, Cotton Mather, uh, the Christians and the, the Princetonian theologians, Charles Hodge, just goes on and on. Uh, so I like reading history through biography. 
and you get into I also like reading uh, 20th century biographies on painters and poets like reading the biography of Jack Kerouac or a biography of uh, Allen Ginsberg or a biography on Norman Mailer a biography and Philip Roth so I like the reading biographies through presidents. And then I like this series. I got this at the Finville warehouse. I like these little uh, St. Martin's Library. This is Return of the Native by Thomas Hardy. I collect the writings of Thomas Hardy. I already had this, but I like these little paperback editions. Return of the Native. I was really into Thomas Hardy a number of years ago, but I collect him and this. I had this already in my library, but I like these little paperback editions. St. Martin's Library. I also collect this writer, A.B. Hishua, Journey to the End of the Millennium, a novel of the Middle Ages. A New York Times notable book. I collect him. He is the author of The Lover, which I have, A Late Divorce. He is uh, Mr. Manny, received the National Jewish Award. He lives in Hafa, where he teaches literature at Hafa University. I'm not sure if that's true today, but I collect his writings. And this is translated from the Hebrew by Nicholas D. Lange. He's a Jewish writer. Yeah, I collect him. And then I found this book at the uh, Fendel Warehouse Used Bookstore, A Treasury of Mississippi River Folklore, edited by B.A. Boken. Stories, Ballads, and Traditions of the Mid-American River Country. I got this to add to my Mark Twain collection. He wrote a, a book on, he was, Mark Twain in his life was a steamboat captain on the Mississippi River. And I collect books on the Mississippi River. Uh, if you want to know about American history, read the history of their rivers the Columbia River, the Ohio River, the, the Mississippi River, and just goes on and on. Here in Michigan, we have the Great Lakes. I live right close to Lake Michigan. And you can read books about the Great Lakes. And, but I like reading about the Mississippi River and its folklore. So I got this for my John Wayne collection, Mississippi collection, a treasury of Mississippi River, folklore, ballads, stories, traditions of the mid-America, mid-American river country. So I got that. And then I, I had this writer in my library and I dehauled him a couple years ago. But I come across his name all the time. When I am reading novels, he is always quoted or he gives blurbs on these novels that I like or I would want to read someday. And his name is Tom per Perotia. I can't pronounce his name. But he, I got these at the Finville Library, his book room. They're just withdrawals. You see, they're all withdrawals. This is his novel, Mrs. Fletcher, New York Times bestselling author of The Leftovers and Little Children. And then I picked up his novel, The Absence Teacher, a novel by Tom Peretia. I had this one and I dehauled it. And like I said, only 50 cents. I thought I'd get around to reading him someday, so that's why I picked him up. And then I picked up his other novel. These are stories. Uh, Nine Inches Stories by Tom Peretia. Peretia. 
So I just thought maybe someday I'll get around to reading him. I have a novel by this writer, Curtis. What was it? Curtis Sittenfelt. I have her novel, American Wife. And this is her novel, Eligible. I don't really know much about her or her writing, but with 50 cents, I've kept her, I think I read a long time ago, her novel, The American, The American Wife. So I picked this one up, Eligible by her. And then I, I collect the writings of Gail Godwin. And this is her novel, The Grief Cottage. I didn't have this in my Gail Godwin collection, which I have maybe 10 of her novels. She's one of my favorite uh, American writers, Gail Godwin, and I didn't have this one, Grief Cottage. So I picked that one up. And you know, she's recommended by John Irving, Ann Pechnet, uh, Willie Cash, Ron Rash. Ron Rash I D hauled and Willie Cash I D hauled, but they rec she's kind of she's a traditional novelist. I've always enjoyed her writings. A number of years ago I was really I read a lot of her novels and I wrote in some nonfiction by her, but I really like Gail Godwin. And yeah, she's written a lot of novels and I've always enjoyed reading them. So that's what I got at the Finville Warehouse Used Bookstore, the Finville Public Library Used Book Room. I have other used books I got from other places. Goodwill, Salvation Army, uh, Blue Stockings, which I'll show in a future video. But I wanted to show you the Finville thrift store, no, the Fenville Warehouse used bookstore and the Fenville Public Library used book room books. So I can put these away tonight here on a Sunday evening. So yeah, I like, you know, I'm a, I'm, I'm a diary writer. I, I like good literature. I like reading novels when I'm not reading my Christian books. I am like, I collect things that look interesting and I that's just how I am so I hope you're having a good Sunday they have a good reading week and uh, I might make another video this week Monday reads or I got a book coming in the mail the middle of the week and yeah so I hope you're all doing well thank you for watching and until next time bye